I do this every season I hate when summer comes I fall into a trap that I made by myself Oh, and I always do the wrong thing I'm unstable and I'm unsteady I've lost a million times already And I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow me down I feel unable and so unworthy My heart feels heavy, I've lost already And I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow down now Kidogo and well, hence my disappearance in this platform. But I guess, um, <clears throat> it's been a while vlogging. I know. Hi, guys. So today is on Tuesday, and I want to head over to um, Italy. I want to get curtains for the bedroom because I already got shears. So I'm contemplating whether also to get other shears for the bedroom or to just use the one that I thrifted a while back. But it's it's kind of over challenge because I don't know what shade of curtain I'll buy with the shear. But I'll go source figure it out. I guess I'll just take a photo and go and think when I'm there. Another thing that happened is the bed was finally painted and hmm, it's looking <coughs> it's looking cute. <coughs> well, I've been unwell. Um, if my voice keeps on disappearing, I hope you guys um, forgive the quality of sound. Next is I want to see if I could also get this to, uh, if I could also get curtains for the living room and buy them all at the same time. I know it's going to cost me yeah, it's going to hurt my pocket, but I really need to change my living room carpet and I hope I'll do this before I travel because we are traveling on the 5th and nobody will be around here for for quite the whole of December and probably when we come back is when we'll start to logging again and I want to give you a bedroom uh, makeover before I leave and apparently what I was um, setting uh, to be my lampshades no what i was looking to also buy before i leave were my lampshades but mm -mm. i think we are going to do what we are going to do for the bedroom makeover reveal refresh as it is now the cutters that I'm going to buy in Isili are 6 meters for the bedroom and <laughs> how many meters? Around 12 meters for the living room because I have two windows and yeah 12 meters so 3 meters in each I mean 6 meters in each window so 3 meters when you are just opening the curtains yeah so for it to have enough colors i'm not going to buy shears for the living room living room because i already bought shears for those i have talked a lot it's almost four minutes let's go to Isili. i'll catch you guys in Isili. bye hi guys welcome to a new one my name is barbara and here we do a lot of lifestyle and speaking of lifestyle videos i'm here to unbox some few things and some few purchases that i got a uh, few weeks ago and I want to share them with you and the last time I was here I think I left you guys when I think I was going to easily 
to buy curtains which I got I'll show you that in a bit and then got some other few packages um, over the weekend today being on uh, Monday tomorrow being my travel day on a uh, Tuesday the 5th and got the stuff on Saturday and I wanted to shoot this video before I travel and bid you guys goodbye in this platform okay so now stopped by Isili so I got the bedroom curtains and I also got um, So I got the bedroom curtains. I got six meters for the bedroom curtains and I got them in this small, what is the name of this small, Moyale Mall? Yes, the mall that sells curtains in Isili. I got them there and a meter was, a meter was 800 and plus stitching was 250 so 800 plus 250 that is 1050 plus times six that is how much the curtain costed cause that was per meter so this is the color of the curtain i went with <clears throat> with more like called something that matches my uh wooden ish theme in my bedroom and also gold and i went for like i said six meters i had mine taped so let me just show you the pattern how it looks like this is the color of the curtain and just after the the rings there is this car pattern over here and it's such a beautiful 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 curtain if you if you guys could remember the shear which i have it with me i thrifted the shear i told you that a uh, while 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 back this was how the shear was looking like the shear is this shear is three meters yes it's three meters and this is this is how it's looking and this is the curtain so that is the vibe I am going with for the bedroom I just wanted to add a little bit of color some little bit of um, what do you call some gold in, in 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 it in the bedroom so i got six meters of those and this one's this one is three meters then passed by those are the only things that i got in a silly yes those are the only things that i got in a silly now moving on to what i imported i imported some two acrylic for the kitchen and let me show you now for the import i got these two large acrylic organizers for putting my rice and here i'll put my unga so they are quite quite huge eh? and i got um they come with lids apparently they have like a yellow lid yeah so that is how they look like and these things are huge yeah? they are pretty pretty huge and it comes with more accessories to it so there are these golden to small ribs that i that came with and then there's this like a measuring or rather a scoop to use 
so I have fixed the cutting over here and then I've also fixed the like the the two legs these ones the stands there are four of them so that is basically how they look like this I got two and I wish I got one more for flour yeah but I think I'll just take care of that when I think I'll take care of those things next year so that is another thing that I got and another thing that I got in downtown where I always buy light fixtures and everything you remember this lamp that I thrifted this lamp that I, I thrifted that is how it looks like initially this lamp was to go to my console which I told you guys I shared with you but I have been using it in my bedroom and it's only like a one piece now it's still going back to my console and this time round I bought uh, a shed for it and this shed I got it in downtown I don't think I want to unwrap it now but I got it in downtown and they were selling it for 400 shillings and it's a nice cute shed so let me just fix it and then show you guys so that is how the shed looks like like so like so and i'm thinking i should paint all this thing black so that it has like a black stand and a white shed i'm just thinking but it's like a nice little you know console shed as you can see it's a nice one i i loved it it has served me well uh when i was using it in my bedroom <laughs> when I was using it in my bedroom and speaking of lampshades I went to um, Okadeko and I got some few things there also Okadeko I got this um, curtain holders they are wooden curtain holders and each was being sold for 600 shillings and you get your discount and you get your discount after buy so I only got two for the bedroom since I'm not I have not got any curtains for the living room so another thing that I got from Oka was the nightstands yeah I got nightstands from Okadeko let me just open them so I'll just open one so I got a lamp uh, I got nightstands and this is how they are looking like they are wooden at the bottom they still match my uh, light fixture which is of the same wooden fill yes and that is how it looks like and then i got this shed it comes with the shed so you just fix it over there and this thing is it's huge compared to this stand so that is how it looks like i hope you guys can see it i have not fixed it very well because i've not completely unwrapped it but that is how it looks like that is the shed that is the shed it's looking like that then you put your bulb in there and there you have your shed so I got two of these and each was 
6150 before discount so i got myself two nightstands of the same design so let me put those ones away so yeah guys apparently that marks the end of the haul those are the only things that i got the last few days and i right now i want to take you uh to the outdoor furniture that we got for the house and something else that i thought would happen before this video goes up was to have my duvet delivered and also yeah the wall art delivered but apparently those things they will be delivered when i won't be around and yeah that is the dilemma i mean that i cannot shoot a bedroom reveal a bedroom refresh with all those without those things being here so with that said and done let me take you to the outdoor furniture that we got and then come back here and end this vlog so let's go to the outdoor furniture so let me show you how this place looks like now we have come a long way and i'm so glad we are closer to how you want this place looks like let me turn the camera around and show you how it looks like now I left you guys when the carpet was up to there so we joined and right now it's up to here and my excitement about this place is we have new seats yay so we have those seats that one we went with the local maids that is just the, the rug we have put there these ones are tools. We are actually drilling some few things in the house. I'll show you that in a bit. And yeah, so we have a one seater, a three seater, and a single seater. So in total, we have five. And then I have just put these two Ottomans here. This one came with my my seats, my living room seats. And this one, this one was, this one goes way back. This was when. I was still single. I had this. So right now we have carpet grass all all the way up to there. And that um, the crack that you see there, that's what approved. We are taking care of that uh, probably next weekend. Yeah, so that is how the place looks like. The Kajim bike is right over there because we have really 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 decluttered. My living room carpet, I have put it there needs to be washed so that I can put it in my my bedroom so this is how basically the place looks like behind there now this is like outside uh, I have my skumawiki my kels and then a whole lot of those you see those snake plants me I have a lot of snake plants I have a lot and I think <laughs> I need to give some to my neighbor yeah so that is how big this basically looks like this other side we have a lot of kills here we are doing kills 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 when i tell you i have a lot of snake plants i have a lot of snake plants but they are behind so that is how this place looks like This place is not even complete, it's not complete, but yeah. So one thing we need to do, we need to get um, the form for, for sitting here and that we are going to do this week. So probably this vlog will go up. So this week we are going to do that. And another thing we are going to get like a small coffee table that actually matches this tray yeah and then we're going to have kidoko a progress 
that at least people can sit around here. That is what the place looks like. I am so excited. I am excited. I'm excited. So that is how the place looks like. I'll continue giving you updates on how things unfold. Pole pole too, no pressure. That is why I was missing. No pressure. Pole pole. So when you put videos up, can you please watch and subscribe? Right? Yeah. So that's it. So yeah guys, so those are the things that I got. Those are the outdoor furniture that I got. Also for the what do you call for the cushions and the backrest I'll have those custom made. So with that short haul and everything that I got in the last couple of weeks, I think I'll bid you guys goodbye in this video. Thank you so much guys for the support you have shown me in 2023. Thank you so much for the followers. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for every little thing that you've ever done for me. Either you bought something from me or you've watched my videos, whether you've subscribed or not, but you bumped into this channel somewhere. Thank you so much for your support this year. I want to wish you well. May the good Lord keep you safe. May you have all the best things you need, you desire in next year. The year is still not yet over. I pray and I, I pray that all your desires come into fulfillment. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in my next one. So until then, bye and happy holidays and happy new year. See you.